Hey guys, here's a quick update on the uh, Replicio Prusa i3 3D printer. Very happy with this unit um, for the money, I guess it can't be beat. Um, I've printed quite a few successful pieces with this. They're just sitting over here and I'll go over them in a second. First I'll quickly go over some of the modifications I've made to my unit. Uh, first and foremost, as others have come across, the uh, carbon fibre uh, sheet that came with the standard kit which was just supposed to sit on top of this red PCB heat bed Unfortunately, I wasn't able to use it because I wasn't able to get it dead flat It was happy to follow the bow that the PCB heat bed um, Seems to incorporate so away with that in with some three millimeter glass This isn't the final piece of glass that I'll be using this was one that I was able to acquire cheap locally I do have a sheet of Pyrex on the way from eBay so that will cover the entire frame, but I've been printing on this surface and it is, it is, it is dead flat. Um, for adhesive, I've been, just been using um, just some cheap hairspray. Uh, sp lightly spraying down first on the area that I'll be printing on and the plastic sticks instantly. Um, I would go as far as saying a tad better than, than the carbon fiber, although the carbon fiber um, had its use because you didn't have to spray anything down which was a, which was a, which was nice but unfortunately it's not flat so had to go the next thing uh, I've done is I've braced the uh, iron frame uh, on a previous video I noticed that there was quite a lot of oscillation when I simply just pushed on the iron frame purely because it is anchored um, at the base there and there it was acting like a bit of a almost like a hinge um, so what I've done is I've just printed design and printed uh, just these these blocks one here and one here and what I've done at the back is I've replaced the the top 10 millimeter threaded rod with another piece of 10 millimeter threaded rod that I bought from the local hardware store which was just a bit longer um, so I better have about 10 centimeters extra on this side another 10 centimeters extra on this side which then allowed me to anchor uh, these plastic blocks uh, one on this side and one on this side to some more 10 millimeter rod and uh, mounted it to the top of the frame. So no new holes at the top here. I just utilize the existing holes that um, that comes with the Z-axis holder. So that worked out quite well. And now it's, it is very, very steady. Um, next thing I printed out was a spool holder. I wasn't able to find something on Thingiverse that I guess I wanted. So once again, I just knocked something up quickly. Um, the uh, the pegs uh, clamp at the bottom of the iron frame here and then there's just some threaded rod I've, I've just cut to a certain length uh, and finally up top I just printed a couple of caps that just fit into the side of the of the spool uh, there is a bearing in there there's one on this side as well and that turns nice and freely I haven't had any issues at all with with binding if anything sometimes the plastic is too rigid and will be and will happy to spring off halfway through a print but that's obviously not the printer's fault or anything like that that's just the way the the filament seems to roll uh, the next thing that I've noticed was I wasn't able to get in the Y axis the full 200 uh, print surface I was getting about 175 180 but uh, when I was homing right at the back, uh, the head was about, I don't know, 20, uh, 20 millimeters too, too far up. So to fix that, once again, another, I guess, little mod of design and printed just um, like an extension, I guess you could say, to the Y end stop. Um, and that's just, you know, pushed back that end stop, you know, about 20 millimeters. And now I get the full uh, 200 on the Y axis. There was no issue with the X axis. Um, from there to there, I'm getting the full 200. So now I have the full heat bed. But of course, once I get the proper glass, I'll be able to actually print to the very sides. Uh, the next modification I've done, and I'm not sure if this is required or not, but I'm, I'm still in the progress of it is with the z-axis itself um, I've went out and I've purchased these hex couplers so instead of using the little hex nut that fits um, within the cavity in the uh, uh, z um, idler uh, I forget the name of this part sorry um, I've purchased some of these they're only a couple of dollars and they fit in there snugly and now there's no wiggle um, on the z-axis uh, threaded rod so quite happy with that I'm trying to get the z-axis as uh, centered as possible because one of the things I've noticed and I'll just grab the part now is I'm seeing a bit of z banding um, on some very fine prints so this is just a cube and I'll see if I can get that to focus doesn't want to bear with me 
there we go. You can you can just see some uh, Z axis. Uh, it's not wobble. It's 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 banding because it's the same thickness all the way around. So I guess I'm being a bit of a perfectionist there, but I'm just trying to get the best quality print that I can out of this. This is printed in point two, by the way. In point three, I think it's disguised or hidden because the resolution isn't high enough. Um, that's pretty much it with the actual unit. I've only been printing in ABS so far, so this is blue ABS. I'll just quickly go over and show you some of the prints that I've, that I've completed so far. Um, uh, these are just some of the Prusa uh, i3 parts. Here's the, uh, the extruder, extruder assembly, so I've printed that okay. Uh, here's the, um, the, the main gear. Oh, here is just uh, something I found off Thingiverse. It's like a spiral vase with kind of flat surfaces. That came out quite well. That came, uh, the plastic I've used here was the black ABS that came with the kit, so that was quite nice. Uh, here's the uh, X carriage piece. Uh, here's the fan duct. Uh, here's the Y idler. Uh, here's the extruder uh, idler part. Here's the uh, the small extruder gear. And the other uh, side of the uh, Z idler, X idler, one of the two. My mistake. Um, anyway, what else have I printed? One of the reasons why I've bought this printer was because uh, I want to print out my own quadcopter frame, mini quadcopter frame. So design some of these arms as well. And uh, this is the blue ABS printed, 50% uh, infill, uh, three perimeters, three top and bottom layers. It's come out quite well. Uh, here's a here's a finished print job of how it's going to look uh, in the green that I also have. Uh, it's come up very, very well. I'm just trying to get it to focus there. There we go. Um, very happy with this print. It's um, very, very strong. Um, I haven't actually flown this particular one yet. I do have another one which I've flown and I'm very, very happy with it. It's quite light. It's only about 95 odd grams. Um, there's the, the top plate which uh, just kind of fits on top there and I have some nylon supports as well. That's quite good. Um, and just lastly, I did actually find a use uh, um, for a friend of mine who's got a, a 450 size quadcopter. Um, this is a gimbal mount that he has. Um, the carbon fiber or fiberglass tubes up here are 12 millimeters in diameter. The, the bracket or clamp that came with his gimbal holder only fits 10 millimeters so that it doesn't matter how hard we push, it just wasn't going to fit and harder, the harder we push, the more it wanted to pop off. So what do we do? We simply designed our own and there's the finished product. It is, to tell you the truth, stronger than the original one that it came with. There's quite a bit of flex in that, but uh, this one's nice and tough. Uh, that's, and that's a, that's a perfect fit and he's very happy with it. And um, there's, I guess, my first uh, real world use of, uh, of the actual printer. So. All in all, quite happy. Um, if I find a cure for this very minor uh, Z banding, I'll be sure to, to post another video. But, um, but besides that, hopefully yours is going well. Cheers.